Hi everybody, I'm Vicki Stitch and Button. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome to the channel if you haven't. Rock on, rock your day. Today is Thursday, November 8th. I am a week and a day late, so things happen. I was going to try to record on the 31st, but I was flying out to go see my mom up in PA. I'm down in Florida, so I didn't have any time to do one on time. You know, air quotes in there because is it... I try. Anyway, so I was up in Pennsylvania, right outside of Philly in Upper Darby for almost a week. I went to go visit my mom and go through some of her stuff, and I ended up bringing back a bunch of pictures, and she gave me a bunch of fabric. I think I've mentioned before she used to do wardrobe and sewing and stuff, and she gave me a bunch of fabric and a lot of tchotchke stuff that she wanted to get rid of. She's in that purging stage of her life. She doesn't want anything, so fine. Anyway, so I had a great visit. I flew up there on Wednesday the 31st, and my flight almost put me in jail. There was a little child on the plane that wouldn't stop talking nonstop for the whole hour and 20, two hours and 20 minutes of the flight, the entire flight. If she wasn't talking to her grandmother or sister, she was talking to her book or her doll or singing a song. I almost went to jail. I, I By the end of the flight, I, I, I seriously wanted to hit a child in the face really hard that and I had no duct tape I ended up fine I tried to put on headphones my wireless headphones would not connect up and finally I just I had the guy get up that was sitting next to me because I was on at the window seat and I had him get up and I went in my bag and I found another pair of headphones and turned it on as loud as I could and tried to drag out as much as I could anyway so Got off the plane, felony flight free, and got over to my mom's house. My friend Andre picked me up. We stopped for some McDonald's, because why not? I was starving, and it was like nothing open up at 10 o'clock, besides fast food. And so Wednesday was pretty much travel time. It takes me two hours to fly to Fort Lauderdale. And Thursday, Thursday, we went out to lunch with a uh, older friend of my mother's. And it's crazy because I remember those two at work in the theater together. Like when I was a teenager and they were always bouncing around and doing this and that. And just it, and watching those two walk up the, up the ramp into the diner. They were talking and then they stop and talk. And they both have canes. The one just got a knee replacement. My mom needs a cane because she's unsteady. And I'm looking and I'm looking. And it's just, it's a realization that all these years really have gone by. And yes, they are aging. And then they stop and they start talking some more. And I'm standing there holding the door just like, oh, come on. Finally, I turned around and I said, you know what? You guys can do your own version of Grumpy Old Women later. Let's get in the diner. <laughs> so we had a good lunch. I had a bucket list, a food bucket list for when I went up there. Because it's been a while since I had some real Philly food. So I made sure I got breakfast and I had my scrapple. And then the next day I had, uh, my mom had, a friend of my mom came up and, that I know also sent from when I was a teenager and when my sister was alive. Kelly was uh, actually a friend of my sister's. So her and her husband came up to see us. They had been wanting to see my mom and then when they found out I was in town, they definitely made the trip. So we ended up getting pizza and cheesesteaks. So that was on the bucket list. And then I had Chinese food from Philly because the Chinese food down here is different than up there. And I ended up the next day. So it was all about the food, pretty much <laughs> just getting in the food. And yes, I did get an extra day on Thursday. I know Tuesday when I flew back, my friend Gina came and got to spend some days with me. And we went and saw my niece. We had a brunch with my niece and her cousins in what's it called now northern liberties and we had we had a bougie brunch and 
it was fun now. It was good catching up and seeing everybody. So Tuesday before I went for my flight, Gina and I stopped to get cheesesteaks because Gina lives in Harrisburg. So <laughs> she also wanted a real cheesesteak. And we got a couple cheesesteaks and I even got an extra one. Then I had them wrapped good and put in a plastic bag and I took one home for Frank. So Frank got his cheesesteak too. And I also made sure to get a couple of soft pretzels because that was on the food bucket list. The whole entire bucket list was checked off as far as food goes. So that was a good thing. On the way back, that wasn't too bad. It was a, we were on a 737 on the way back, which is larger than what usually goes up. What I'm usually on, I, I fly Southwest. So it was larger and boy was it packed. But there were no kids screaming or talking the whole entire time. I got to stitch on the on both both flights. I actually stitched, and I will show you. I during my time at my mom's, I couldn't do my sewing and my beading because I put my Etsy shop on vacation and couldn't do the bag thing. So I got time to stitch. Gina and I sat for a few nights and got to stitch and just enjoy ourselves, which was. Kind of nice, although you know I'm sitting there going, oh, I have a million things to do at the house. But yeah, always going. I got back on Tuesday night, got my bags unpacked, and Wednesday I was no good. I was exhausted. My allergies were at level 15, and my eyes were swollen shut, and I ended up sleeping a while most of the day and then taking a nap. But it did me good, except for today. Now I'm sitting here, and I had a back spasm. And I have a heating pad on my back. I was even debating on doing this, but I just want to get it done over with. I ha It's like a six-inch band that's going across my back from my shoulder blade to shoulder blade. It's the one shoulder blade that's making everything go crazy. Couldn't move earlier. I can breathe now. All's good. And get this done, huh? So, like I said, I did get some stitching done, and I had some plans that I started making, and I started writing down plans and stuff. I can't find the charts to show you. I printed out working copies, and it was a lot of pages, and I don't know where I put them because I did it all before I left on vacation. They've got to be around here somewhere, but I'm trying to take it easy with the back, so I'm not going to go digging. Um, I do have plans though. I want, I, I printed out Bubble Bubble and I forget who it's by now because I don't have the chart, but Audrey Stitchy, which 42, she recently bought that pattern and I know it's on Etsy and I can't remember the name, but she mentioned it and I, so I wrote it down. I was like, oh, I have that. Maybe her and I could stitch it together. Depends on, because she usually stitches pretty quick when she sends her mind to it. But I did print that out. My other plans are um, Hawk Run Hollow. I did not join in on the sale because I had nothing together and I was trying to get some other stuff done. But the more I see, the more I want to do. And I, I made sure to print out working copies of Shores, Hawk Run, Shores of Hawk Run Hollow and Farms. Now on farms, I only I there's two blocks that I I'm not interested in doing. So I think I want to do shores all on one piece. And I want to do farm in sets. I think I, I want to do it either the big one with the the rest of the what what's their I think there's what? I'm leaving out two. I think there's ten or twelve. Anyway, I was either thinking of putting the other remaining blocks that I do in either sets of two or singles and put the, so I'd have the big one in the middle and then frame the other ones around the outside. I haven't decided on that and kind of hard to decide when you can't find what you print it out. Anyway, I went and kitted a whole bunch of stuff last, uh, no, it was two weeks ago. I started kitting up some smalls when... I went through my sooner and later books and I shifted some stuff around and I decided to get some stuff up and decided to use 
some Vicky Clayton silks because I was putting stuff away. I was trying to clean up and put threads away. And I looked down and I was like, I have all these silks. I need to use them. So I did. And let's see. I put a whole bunch of projects in this one bag. I call this my fabulously ugly bag. It's old. I think I got it at a thrift store. But it has, it's a makeup bag. And it's great for project bags. So. When I got on the plane, I wasn't sure about scissors, about what kind of scissors I could take. So I took the smallest pair I had. And these are my favorites because they're kind of stiff. They were a freebie at a retreat. So they're kind of stiff and they're not my favorite. So if TSA wanted to take them, they could have them. I kitted up. This one out. Love Coffee by Hinzite. Heinz it. Hin, hin, z. I, I think I usually call them Hinsight. I kitted this one up on 28 count white Monaco and then I substituted for Vicky Clayton silks on it. I put a picture on my Instagram with the silks and everything and I started this on the plane. I was able to get all the letters done. These letters. And then when I set up my mom's I was able to uh, finish off the rest of it. Now, the only thing is, I like the colors because I picked my own kind of colors. I just wish I would have picked something a little lighter to go around the word coffee because it doesn't show up as well. But I'm keeping it that way. I'm still happy with it. And reaching forward hurts my back. Yay. So that one's a finish. I'm not sure exactly how I want to finish finish it. But it'll get done. And then the next one I decided to o open and do uh, was No Place Like Home. It's called Dorothy's Red Shoes from the Little Stitcher. Now this is how she has it. And what she says is there, there's actually a block of four stitches that go here. And she's like, we, we, we put... A key there you can do whatever you want and of course I do whatever I want anyway so I pulled Vicki Clayton silks for the lettering and then I used this embroidery thread this metallic embroidery thread and I don't have a name for it but there was never a name on it when I bought it but I found it on clearance at a bead shop believe it or not and it's just this metallic really cool metallic red So what I did was I decided not to stitch the white. I, I want to put actual lace there. And I did the shoes in the metallic, if you could see that, the shimmer off of it. And the letters are in silk red and, and dark, dark brown, almost black. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to pull out some charms that I know I have around here. I have a ton of charms. And put some more Wizard of Oz ish charms and put real lace and then I went shopping and I couldn't find fabric that was blue and white check but I did find this ribbon that I'm gonna somehow incorporate maybe rouch it around the outside or something like that but that's gonna be there somehow and I thought that looked really cool I have a um, witch flying on a broom I have a broom I have a little dog charm, so I might be able to put those on there, incorporate it somehow, and I'll probably make it into like a flat hanger or a pillow hanger. So that's by the little stitcher that's on um, Etsy. She's, I think she's still on Etsy. There's a couple that I have that aren't on Etsy anymore. They went big on me. So that's part of the haul that I got. I, I went to Joanne's a couple of times. Yeah, I'm looking to see 99% of the the threads I used were um, the silks. Now on this one, this one is December 31st cupboard hanger. 
and it's by Pineberry Lane. I bought this one. See, Pineberry Lane is not on Etsy anymore, but I did buy it when she was. And I used the call for colors, although they're showing up different than what the picture did. And I didn't put the cross in there. I actually want to put something different in there, like a charm of some sort, and I'll make that. I'm not sure if I want to go round. I have a tart pan, and I'm wondering if I can't make this round if the tart pan's not big enough for it. I think that would look cute. So that's December 25th cupboard hanger. Finished that up. That was the last one I finished up at my mom's. On the flight back between turbulence, it was turbulence. We were going around. Uh, that's another one I kitted up. We were going around storms, and there was turbulence, so it's kind of hard to stitch when the planes jumping all over the place. And I wasn't really nervous. I just wanted it to stop shaking so I could stitch. Might as well take these out, huh? So, I also kitted two Lizzie Kates. One's a little beach and one's a little... Little beach and a little coffee. And I did them all in Vicki Clayton silks. And here's what I did so far. This is what I got done on the plane, which I don't think is too bad. I didn't start right away, obviously. But I got the word beach done and some of that little sandpiper or seagull, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's a seagull. The sandpiper has a longer snout. So, and I didn't even need, I brought this light that I bought. I think I showed that in, a, in one of my videos. It's got three settings. I brought it. I didn't use it for stitching, though, because the light that comes down on you was actually bright enough. I did use it to find my scissors one time. My scissors fell, and I don't know how it, 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 if you realize how impossible it is to reach forward with all this stuff on your lap to try to pick up a pair of scissors on the floor. I ended up using my cheater glasses and the arm to get my scissors with the light on it so I could see what I was doing. It worked. Don't knock it till you try it. It worked. So that's what I stitched on the plane and what I finished. And then I have one more that I stitched on while I was up there. And that was One Nation. I took all those smalls and I figured, well, let me take One Nation because that's easy enough to stitch. And I did get a little bit done, a very little bit done. I finished this star here and started this star. And then my eyes started getting tired. But every little bit counts, especially on this big one. Uh, before I left, and since my last video... There was one other item I stitched on, and I don't have a final picture of it because it was a freebie from Dragon Dreams. And I don't know that I've ever seen it fit. Oh, great. I can't bend over and get that in my back. Anyway, it's called Nighttime Wizard. I'm almost positive. Night Wizard. It's from a... Um, it's a Nashville 2004 sample chart. It says, I did the other three that actually go with this. There's two wizards, two fairies. And I did the other three, all with the same fabric. And this is the last one. This is the only one I haven't finished yet. And I, it was a stop and go, stop and go. I don't even know why. Because it's pretty easy to stitch. It's on 28 count. And, um... There's a little bit of metallics. There's a on there's a there's a candle here, and then there's metallics on the corners of the book. So what I actually stitched was all the yellow, a lot of this purple, this little bit of green, and all the blue. 
I, I worked on that, I think, two nights. And I got a lot done, I think. It was going smooth, and I was like, oh, no way. I, I, you ever just stop stuff and go, why did I stop? I could have finished it by now. This could have been done. It's not a hard stitch. I don't know why I just didn't do it. I'm going to remember to pick up the floss when I can bend over. <sighs> you ever notice you drop stuff when you can't pick it up? Anyway, this is all done on DMC. And I'm liking it. I'd, I'd like to just get that finished. It's been on my plate for a while. I'm looking at my uh, project pile. And that this one's been on the plate for a while. It's my bag. My new cow bag I made. And... I made a new uh, pull for it. I originally had a tractor on it, and I got these little cow charms in. I thought it was cute. And I used wood because wood beads because I thought it matched pretty well. I do have more of those cow charms. If anybody's interested, just hit me up on Insta or something. Okay, what have I bought? I haven't bought a ton. Of, well, I have fabric, and I don't think you're really interested in it. <coughs> there's a lot of fabric I'll be using for um, project bags I did buy a project bag my allergies are starting up again bad and it's <coughs> excuse me why I die Anyway, it's hard to cough when your back hurts, too. But I bought a bag. Coffee, of course. Coffee bean inside. I started using the bag. I know. Big floss tube. No, no. Whatever. I, uh, I'm doing a model stitch for a designer. And I <coughs> shoved it in there so to get it out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, um, Becky Nolan, Lucy Bean Threads, or she she's Lucy Bean Designs, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. Ah. Lucy Bean Project Bag, it says it on the back, see? Anyway, she sells these. Now, I'm lazy and don't want to keep on tying and untying this, so I just put a piece of elastic to go around it button once I got it. It's just me. Um, but this is great. She sells them on Instagram and on, I believe on her group site, but she was having a problem with the group site and she might even have them on her Etsy and I will link her below. <laughs> All right. Hurry up with this because I'm dying here. All right, a couple things I did get from Joann's were these charms. Not sure what I'm going to use them on. I might make stuff for the bags. I might make stuff for myself, but how could you not? And these. Huh. Aren't they cool? It's like a metal back, I guess, an aluminum backing. And um, just wood. You can, I, I figure I could do a stitch and put it in there mount it in there I also what else did I get I bought some th sewing thread not very thrilling some extra bobbins for my sewing machine not very thrilling and like I said the fabric my friend Gina brought me she had an extra of this magazine and I don't know why I didn't get it so she gave me her extra of this Halloween magazine. This one is uh, 2016, just cross stitch. So I got that from her. And I gave her, I made her four project bags. Matter of fact, I'll show you one that I made her because I made two of them. I had enough fabric to make two, so I made one for her and one to sell. I just haven't made the zipper pull for it yet. It's, um,. That's the inside fabric. And she's got a beagle. So it's beagles on the other side. So 
so I, get, I gave her one of those, and then I had an order for Labradors, so I even made a Labrador bag for that order, and I have an extra one I need to make a zipper pull for. If you're interested, just let me know. I also, she had two of the cross stitch and needlework, so she gave me that, and she was getting rid of this, and I said, hey, I could do something with that. Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> I'm going to have to pause it. Hopefully I can stitch these movies together. And I'm back. Okay. So. Where was I? Stuff that Gina gave me. I am, I went through, in going through my stuff, I'm going to have a couple things to give away this time and probably next time. I'm trying to look. Yeah, this time and next time. <clears throat> oh. There's stuff in it, but look at this cool box Gina gave me. I don't know where she got it from, but it's really cool. It's one of those shaker boxes and I have stuff in it right now. I have to find something to stitch and put on top. I think that was it for haul and stitching and I feel like I'm missing something. It happens. Anyway, I have notes here. <clears throat> I actually thought I was getting caught up on plus two. And that's before I left, and now I'm all behind again. So, but when as I get caught up, I try to add in new people, or, you know, when I'm watching, people are like, hey, watch this one, hey, watch that one. So I started watching a few others. I watched Kentucky Sass, that's uh, Delisha. She's funny. Um, I watched uh, Tranquil Stitches. Love watching her and her stitching and stuff, and she makes project bags also. And Bird Stitcher Colorado, I started watching her. And I thought I recognized that northeastern little accent in your voice. Uh, apparently, she's originally from Jersey. And then Susie Reno. I started watching Susie Reno. I'm not totally caught up with Bird Stitcher Colorado or Susie Reno just yet. But I did start watching those, and I'm entertained. So go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. I just feel like if, you've watch, if you're watching me, you probably did watch Susie Reno because she's got a ton of... Uh, subscribers so there's a couple of things uh, also I wanted to talk about the car update I did I was able to get my car fixed it didn't cost an arm and a leg just an arm and it was a um, coil pack that's what they call them it was a coil pack it was something we could have fixed to start with for $60 instead of the over 200 but you know you live and you learn it's not his fault. It's not, I don't blame the mechanic. It's some, it, we didn't, we didn't test it right. So it was worth the money just to get it fixed. So the car's running. Yay. Back to the way it was. And I, last video I mentioned that I was starting a new hashtag on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I am QNVIKKI. That'll be listed below. I am also Stitching Button Crafts. That will be listed below. And I started a new hashtag called Proudest Cross Stitch Project. I think everybody has that one project that you're like, ah, look what I did. Or, oh, I hated stitching this, but look, it's finally done. I really stuck it out there. Something that makes you proud about it. I, I stitched it for a friend. I stitched it for my mom or dad. Or it has a sentimental value of some sort. And I want to see them. I shared mine, and I know that... Uh, Michelle Bendy Stitchy started spreading the word, and Christine Stitch All the Things started spreading the word. So it is catching on more. If you haven't <clears throat> caught that bug yet and you're on Instagram, go check it out. Go follow the hashtag. It's hashtag ProudestXSProject. And I'll put the hashtag in the description below so you can see it and um, maybe copy paste it if you need to. 
Anyway, it's starting to catch on. A lot of people are doing it, and I just love... I try to comment on everything, even if I just put, like, little heart eyes, something on there as I see them. And I've actually had to go back and look again because I missed some. It happens. But I've been trying to see all of them. I think it's great. I love the stories behind them. You know, even if it's not the one that you would totally like to look at, for some reason, it was done for... A parent that's now gone and you got it back so it's going to be the most beautiful thing obviously you're proud you're proud of it i want to see it i think everybody should be proud with you share that um i uh also am still using hashtag one b a nation for my one nation um i think kaisu cats is using that also she's doing two of them i am only doing one so, she's got goals for Christmas, so I, I understand. But uh, if you're doing One Nation, go ahead and do the hashtag 1BA Nation. And I'm following that. I know there's a couple of people following that hashtag. So we could all groan together on how big and how many more stars we have and how many more stripes we have. So share it all. That's on uh, Instagram also. <clears throat> and I, I'm trying to see... There are uh, a couple of sales I know I was in, and obviously I haven't kept up with it right now. So you know, what's Pam say? Uh, either you're gonna you're gonna do a stitch along, and then you do a stitch alone. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those that ends up doing a stitch alone half the time, but that's fine. I, I go at my own pace. Stitch what you want when you want, right? I have a lot going on now with my back hurting. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to do the bags. I ha I, I'm sitting here looking at all this stuff and just going, oh, I have so much stuff to do. I'm glad I have some bags done already, but I still have so many more in the works. I, I just got all this Christmas fabric. I want to do more Christmas stuff. And I got some cool stuff that I really want to share with you guys. And I can't bend over to cut right now. I have to wait a few days at least. But I'm going to do what I can. Um... New things, new things in the Etsy shop. I have not gotten to put them up. I just got them when I got home. So, obviously, I haven't had time to really <clears throat> do much else besides try to get my shit together and put it away and put it where it needs to be. And there's still... You can't see the mess. It's all over here. There's beads out because I was doing beading. And I have to finish more beading before I put it away because I have limited space. Some of the new items that will be going up on the Etsy in the next couple of days are some needle minders. I have uh, this watermelon. It's a new watermelon. And I have this snowman. Well, Mr. Snowman here. And this cupcake. At first, I thought this was an elf leg when I first glanced at it. <laughs> Cupcake with a candy cane in a tree. And a penguin. Very happy penguin there. And I have another Norwal. He's sort of 3D. His horn's sticking out. I thought it was cute. I have two Norwals. There's another one on my... If you're into them, there's another one already on the Etsy shop. And that link will be below. I'm trying to look and make sure I'm not missing anything. The Lucy Bean. I will make sure to put her link below so you can check her out. I know she's Lucy Bean on Instagram. And I'll double check that and put that in the description below also. I, uh... That's it. That's all I got right now. If I forgot something, oh well. I do have the giveaways, so let me do those before I go. Uh, it's fall, so, and Thanksgiving is coming up. So I was going through some stuff, and I like this. I just don't see me, I don't see me stitching it. And I, I've, I've gone to give it away a couple of times. I was like, now I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah, I'm just going to bite the bullet and give it and give it away. So, it's out of a magazine. You'll get it in, a, in an envelope or a card or something like that. But it's the full pattern. And uh, 
I'm trying to see if there's any extra. Now it's just that pattern's going to be on there. Because there's a half of another, half of an apple that you might get out of it, but I don't think you'll be able to do anything with it. But it says happy fall, y'all. And it has the checkered pumpkin and some acorns on the side. I think it's cute. I just don't see me stitching it anytime soon, so I might as well share it. If you would like to be entered to win this, um, hmm, I didn't think about it. Just put, I'd like to stitch fall. Be 18, or 18 and over, uh, don't say giveaway. And I'd like if you were a subscriber. I also have one more that I am not going to stitch. This one is by Threadwork Primitives. And since Thanksgiving's coming up, this one says give thanks. It's a great prim design. It's brand new. So it has her card in it and everything. Uh, if you would like to be entered to win Give Thanks by Threadwork Primitives, just put I'd like to st I'd like to give thanks. How about that? I'd like to give thanks. And in two weeks when I do my next video, I will do a drawing. I'll get all the names together and do a drawing. It's like a random number generator or pieces of paper or whatever. And I will send those out. I, uh, it's my birthday month. It's my birthday month. And I know that Sherry, uh, stitching with a Dotson, you want to check her out. She's cute. I like her. Her husband does some really great leather work if you haven't seen her. Um, I'm going to write down her name so I know to. So, okay. If I don't write it down, I won't remember. I'll, I'll link her below also. Um, it's her birthday month also. And she said, hey, it's both our birthday months. Why don't we start a birthday stitch? And and I thought it was a great idea. And then we're now it's rolling around and we're like, what are you going to stitch? I don't know. What are you going to stitch? So it's not that we're stitching the same thing. But we're still celebrating our our birthday all month, and I know she she decided what she was gonna stitch, and she ended up starting it early because her birthday's not till the twelfth. But that's all right. Hey, it's your birthday month; you can start whenever you want. But I haven't figured out what I want to stitch. I I want to start and I I want to do a new start for my birthday. I just haven't figured it out. You'll know when I figure it out, or you'll know after I figure it out, or you'll know eventually anyway I might start I'm waiting for some anchor threads so if I have the anchor threads I may start um, the traveler it's the doctor who which is behind me let me see let me see if I can get it without knocking things over I think it's called the space traveler and I've got the mini version. I bought the mini version and it's out of print. I originally thought I was just going to do that part. But I've since decided to do the whole thing. Because I showed you what happened with the fabric and everything. From the other hade that I decided to redo. Anyway, if I can get that anchor black in before my birthday... I will start this for my birthday. Because I have to start with the black anyway. And I figured I'm not going to put all the threads together. I'm, I'll just get pull the threads out as I need them. So right now I know that page one in that corner starts with black. There's like a few colors I need. And I have the rest of them. But I want to do anchor black. Because I think I'm going to do one over one instead because if you hold it out here arm's length I think it, the coverage will be fine so let's hope I get the anchor in also if you watched I don't know if any of you guys watched Stitch and Jules 
I'll put her link below. She is trying to start the Space Travelers. Now, she's got the full-size one. She does a lot of large, very large, full-coverage projects. It's amazing. She works on everything all the time, all the things, all the stitches, all the full coverage. And she's got some huge ones. She's got like, oh, she just started one. I forget what it's called. But the fabric is four feet by nine foot. Yeah. It's over a million stitches. Stitching jewels, sti stitching jewels. And I will link her below. If you happen to have Space Traveler, the large one, she cannot find her page one and two. I think it's page one and two. You can contact her, email her through her YouTube. I thought I could help her, I, I but I only have the mini. She's got the whole entire pattern. She can't find like the first one and two pages, I think. And she contacted Hade. They no longer even have, which I find hard to believe. I don't understand that. But they say they don't have the file anymore to even give her the two pages, which really sucks for her to be missing. So if you guys can help her or talk to her about it, that'd be great. You know, put the word out there. If, or if you know somebody that's stitching it that can contact her, that'd be great. She said, you know, she, she thinks she... She said, I don't think I threw them away, but I can't for the life of me think of where they're at. And I and she's like, I could dig in the basement. But she she just, she's just trying to get the two pages. <laughs> so if you can help her out, that'd be great. You know, stitchers need to help each other stitch more, right? I am double checking my list. That's what I forgot. Oh, 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 oh. Ouch. I received in the mail from Sherry. And I don't... God, I'm so stupid for forgetting. I got this great little card. I got a package in the mail. I'm like, I didn't order anything. Right? And I got this cute little card in there. And in that is a great note. Sherry won my giveaway for the cancer giveaway that the fob and zipper pull and i sent her that and her like I, I told you her husband robert does um leather work and i received this great look at this he made this needle case this is a needle minder sherry said she knows i like Dragonflies, she made me a needle minder, and she had him make me this needle case. She has a needle in it. That's his email, ctcleather at hotmail.com. I think he's ctcleather on Instagram, and I have the link. I will share it below for the Etsy. I know they only have a couple things on Etsy, but he will take custom orders, so I'm sure if you wanted to contact him... I am going to contact him about possibly making a a um my phone's going to die so I got to hurry up. I'm going to contact him about possibly making a special wallet for Frank to fit his deputy badge in because it needs a special cutout. I'm sure he can do it. I I I'm pretty because he's he just said to email him so I've got to get that going too. But I thought that was great. I had chills. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I came in and I showed Frank. I'm like, oh my God, look. So this I love. I, I didn't use it. I had it sitting on the side there. And I really was excited. I love it. I love the little dragonfly. I love the whole thing. And I, I can't believe she had him make me one. I think that's great. You need one. You need one in your life. So maybe you can get him to make you. I don't know. Or maybe I'm special. Short bus special, maybe? That works for me, too. Anyway, hopefully I will be back in two weeks. And hopefully my back heals up sooner than later. Because, yeah, I'm leaning back on this heating pad again. Uh, that's all I got. Alright. Uh, have a good one. And don't forget, don't let anybody steal your sunshine.